hi, I'm Dr. Xiao Yiling, the founder of the Clear SK Group of Clinics. Today, I'll be sharing with everybody here the various types of pigmentations, their causes, as well as the treatment methods. Later on, I'll share a bit about what kind of a home DIY treatment methods are available and whether they are really useful. The first pigmentation I will address are the freckles. So freckles are small little sesame seeds, kind of brown, orangey spots found on the cheeks, the nose bridge or even the shoulders. So typically, freckles occur in people with fair skin what we call Fitzpatrick skin type 1 and 2. It tends to appear or darken in warm and sunny weather, for example like summer in temperate countries, and it will go away by themselves if there is no more sun exposure, for example in winter. Treatment method will include IPL, as well as um, lasers like the ND lasers and Pico lasers. So you can choose to do the mild methods or the methods that can target the individual spots using scabbing. For freckles, you can also try topical creams that contain hydroquinones, cystamine, or even with AHA solutions. But this might not work as well as the lasers as well as IPL. As per its name, sunspots and age spots are actually caused by prolonged exposure to these ultraviolet rays. As a result of this, there's frequently also associated photo damage to the skin, such as wrinkles, pores issues, as well as other things like moles. Typically, it occurs on the cheeks, the shoulders, or even the arms. Treatment methods will include topical creams that consist of hydroquinone, peeling acids like AHA, Systamine or certain kind of whitening agents like uh, licorice and all that. However, the mainstay of treatment will still be light based, such as IPL, ND yet lasers, Pico lasers that can target the pigmentations on the epidermis of the skin. For some sunspots which have been very prolonged, you might have to add on other kinds of lasers like uh, dual yellow lasers or even silfirm to target the deeper types of pigmentations. I will also recommend adding on skin boosters. The reason being, skin boosters will enhance the skin reaction to the lasers. So skin boosters will consist of hyaluronic acids, PDRN like Rejuran family, a triazamic acid, glutathione, and other kind of vitamin-related kind of injections for the skin. Melasma refers to the patches of pigmentation that frequently occurs on the cheeks, sometimes on the nose or even onto the hairline. It is due to hormone changes caused by pregnancies or even menopause. And for some women who take birth control pills, it can also cause melasma. For a few even stressful events like not enough sleep, working stress can also trigger off their melasma pigmentations. Of course, Exposure to ultraviolet light will certainly worsen melasma. So, melasma commonly occurs in women much more than men. In fact, men only account for 10% of the people having melasma. It tends to occur worse in people who are more pigmented and people with family history of melasma, like for instance, their mother or their aunties having melasma will mean that they will have a higher risk of getting melasma themselves. Due to its cause, which is multifold, combination treatments for melasma is necessary to have good results. Therefore, I will recommend a combination of light energy such as lasers like uh, NDX, Q-switch lasers, Pico lasers, um, dual yellow lasers, and silver and X, which is RF needle treatment. Injections such as skin boosters, as mentioned earlier, topical creams that consist of hydroquinone, cystamine, as discussed earlier. PIH is a very commonly seen pigmentation on Asian skin. So typically, it can occur on the cheeks like after an acne outbreak or after allergies to the wrong kind of cream being used. It can occur on the face as well as on other parts of the body. So for PIH, the treatments will have to be combination because the pigmentations tend to occur more deeply in the dermis layer of the skin. Therefore, I will recommend a combination of treatments. For instance, you can start out with topical creams with hydroquinone, cystamine, and other whitening agents. Chemical peeling or even a derm abrasion will help in combination with energy based treatments like lasers, ND lasers, Pico lasers, and even dual yellow lasers. The newest treatment that's available is actually Silfirm X, which is an RF micro needle treatment. It is especially designed with a special depth and energy level that is good for PIH. Hori Nevers, H-O-R-I, 
or we call it ABNOM, is a special kind of pigmentation that is very unique to Asian skin. It occurs on the cheeks and the sides of the temple and has a bluish purplish tinge. It can look a bit like freckles, but the location will give it away. So it tends to occur more in Japanese, Chinese as well as the Malay population. The mainstay of treatment for this particular pigment is actually lasers and mainly the anti gag lasers or the Pico lasers. However, due to the fact that this laser is very deeply occurring in the deep dermis, many sessions of lasers will be necessary. Usually a minimum of 7 up to even 15 sessions, done about once every 1 to 2 months apart. Nevus or Ota, or we commonly call it the bluish pigmentation that occurs usually around the eyes area, sometimes even on the eyeball. So this particular pigmentation occurs mainly in Asians and again like the ABNOM or the Hori Nevus are very deeply occurring in the deep dermis. Many sessions of lasers will be necessary to treat it, minimum about 10 to 15 sessions of NDYAT lasers or PICO lasers. Generally speaking, treatment supplementation will include firstly very important home care such as sun protection, wearing of hats, use of sun umbrellas, applying sunblock at least twice a day in the morning as well as in the afternoon again and at least 1mm thick of sunblock. Nowadays, there's also oral sunblock known as HelioCare which are shown to work in people who has prolonged exposure to the ultraviolet. Home care will include creams that have whitening uh, ability such as hydroquinone, sister amine, acid base like AHA and certain uh, whitening agents will also help. Lasers that work on pigmentation will include the more epidermal focused ones like the anti gag as well as pico lasers to dual yellow lasers which can target deeper pigments with vascular origins as well as currently the micro needle RF known as Silphon X which scientists have shown to work on deeply occurring pigmentation with vascular origin. 